Hi guys, it's Jan here at Gym Tennis and in this session I'm going to show you how to fix that inconsistent voltos. So when it comes to the voltos, there are about three major or the, or the three biggest mistakes that again club tennis players make from my experience working with them. Number one is usually how the club tennis player holds the ball. So there's a lot of players they kind of hold the ball in their palm. Yeah? If you hold the ball in your palm again, it's gonna kind of limit you. You're not gonna be able to control it much. When you see the older pros, they're holding the ball in their fingers. Yeah? Sometimes four fingers, sometimes four, three, four fingers usually, yeah. Just kind of I'm kind of holding it actually with my mostly with these three. Yeah? Kind of like this. Yeah? So the number one thing, that's, we're gonna go into it right in a second. Number two thing, which is connected with this of course, because as it limits you, as you're holding it in your palm, then you can't really control it here, and when you let it go, it's kind of all over the place, because I can really control it when I have it in my fingers, yeah? That's, that's, that's when I can control it. So number two thing is that a lot of players, they let the ball go either too soon or too late. If you let the ball go too soon, it's gonna go always too far front, yeah? Away from you. If you let the ball go too late, it's gonna go always behind you. Yeah? Which will be good for the second serve, but not for the first serve. At this moment, I'm going to focus how to fix my ball toss for the first serve. Okay? So that will be the second one. And the third one, of course, it's actually the wall kind of path of the arm. Yeah? Because as we know again, when you see the pros, they're going kind of in the line with the baseline, which is the key. This is what we want to do. Yeah, we're kind of going up with the line with the baseline. But again, 80, up to 85, 90% of club tennis players, they just go kind of here, yeah? And this again is not good for, for some kind, kind of, you know, for some reasons, which I'm gonna go into it in a second. So, now, how do we have to, again, hold the ball so we can throw it nicely, yeah? That we can really control it. So basically, you want to have it in your fingers. Now, there is a very easy exercise. I mean, a lot of coaches doing it, of course. But if you don't know, you can just do it. You just hold the ball like this, simple, yeah? And you just open your, open your fingers, open your hand. You let it go. Because this is exactly what you're gonna be doing up there, yeah? Up here, exactly the same motion, you're just gonna let it go. And, of course, another thing, that we actually number four, is that a lot of players, they kind of tend to move the wrist here. They go like this, they move the wrist, yeah? They don't stay still there. And they move the wrist and then they lose the control of the ball. If, if it's that way, if it's this way, or kind of even that way I've seen sometimes that really ball goes completely away. Yeah? So again, the key to this one is, number one, you want to hold it in your fingers. Okay? So if you don't do it now, you already do it now. So just like if you will start. Now, number two. When we start in here, let's say I'm serving uh, from the left side. For the first serve, I know that I'm going to be hitting the ball slightly on my right side. In the line with my right shoulder, more or less. Yeah? So it will not be too far to the left, but more on kind of in the line with my right shoulder in front of me. So I would be aiming to point the ball, to, to, to throw the ball, that it's pointing that kind of direction here. Yeah? You can also make a line if you have a play course. What I like to do, I'll just put a little bit of mud here or even the racket you can put there. And when you throw it correctly, the ball should be landing, yeah, more or less, like this, into that area. Yeah? So I'm holding it. I start from my, of course, yeah, I will go like this, but at the moment we're just focusing on this. So you're just holding the ball with your fingers and you just go on top of this. And if you do serve like this, I mean, if, if, if you do throw the ball like this straight up, if it works for you and if you just need to adjust the direction, okay, you can stick to it. But if it doesn't work for you at all, just try to get into this one already that you go in the line with the baseline. Yeah, so we're focusing on this, but also, of course, doing it properly. So we're going in the line with the baseline. So I'm here. Hop, let it go, yeah? I was almost touching the, the mat, it was almost there. One more, hop, this one is good. Couple more. The baskets of your balls here, always one ball in your hand, yeah? Just like if you were serving. Parallel with the baseline, let it go. Perfect. Parallel with the baseline, let it go. Parallel with the baseline, let it go. And you see that I'm only focusing on letting the ball go the moment I reach the highest point with my arm, yeah? So when I can't go any further, if you let the ball go, you should go straight up. And then it bounces exactly where you want to 
have that bow, yeah, that bothos. What happens is now here, so let's say we got already now this, okay, I'm, I know how to hold the ball now, my fingers just like Roger Federer, yeah? Now what happens if the ball goes too far? Yeah, this happens a lot. This is basically because you let the ball go a bit too soon, yeah? You are going here, you let it go when you didn't reach that, the, high, uh, the highest point with the, with the arm, yeah? yeah? So again, you want to go, 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 go all the way up, and then you only let it go when I can't go any higher. When you do this, and when the ball doesn't rotate, when it stays nice and still, just goes straight up, it's gonna go kind of slightly on the way forward, but in the area, in the hitting area where you want it to have, and that's where we want to have it. We don't want to have a ball going behind us. We want to have a ball for the first serve, that it goes that way, yeah? And it goes on, that's on the way forward, because it's gonna be easier for us to hit it again. When you see further a perfect example, the ball goes up and slightly forward inside the baseline, inside the court. So then he follows the ball, and because the ball is already on the way forward, it's easier for him to put power into it, and he doesn't have to uh, work with a contra weight or contra direction. Yeah? If it makes sense, I hope it does. So, how to fix it again? We're practicing now. Now I don't care about the, the uh, now I don't care about the direction at the moment. Yeah. For the second one, I just care about if it doesn't go too far front or too far behind me. If it goes too far behind me, that's again, usually players tend to bend their elbow or the wrist. You keep your arms straight. You don't bend your elbow, you don't bend your wrist, nothing that. You go from the left knee parallel, yeah, you go with the line with the baseline. When you can't go any further, which is here, you open. Check this, perfect. Huh? Even hitting the racket, I'm not even focusing on it. I just let it go. Huh? Again, acceptable, straight up. If the ball doesn't rotate, that means you got it, yeah? Because it just goes straight up and slightly forward. At the moment, I'm just going straight up. Perfect. One more. Holding, straight up. Let it go. Also, another one good one is if the ball comes back to your hand, more or less, yeah? It's going to be always going slightly forward, of course, because we're going kind of a little bit here, that way, yeah? This is how I bring the ball forward. If I was not doing it, then it would be just bouncing on the baseline, of course, yeah? Because this one is just to, to practice that the ball doesn't go too far or too far behind, too far front or too far behind. Once you have that, then you're gonna start focusing again on the placement, and it goes there. So how to get it there? Of course, the arm goes slightly like this. So you're going kind of, not half circle, but you know, kind of that way a bit more. Yeah? Not just straight up, but inside the court. So you bring it in, just like further. Yeah? But still the arm goes, the line with the baseline just the very last moment it goes a bit more there and then you and you release it so it goes in front of you yeah we're still talking about the uh, the botos for the first serve of course if i would be talking about the second serve then i would let the ball go a bit later so the ball goes behind me slightly and then it would go on top of my left shoulder yeah? so it would go kind of I could, I could i could also put this here so i would be hitting the ball kind of more on my left side, so I'll be going like this. Yeah? Almost there, one more. This. Yeah? So again, that, that one is, you can see I'm kind of, and of course I'm focusing on it, my arm is already very good with controlling the ball, so I'll let the ball go a bit, bit later, and again, exactly same placement. Yeah? So you let it go a bit later. The first one, you let it go right on top, the second one, a little bit later, so it goes slightly behind you, on top of your left shoulder, that will be for the second serve. But again, it's very important to get this ball to right. Yeah. Number three, that was actually the, the wall, the wall motion. Also, the typical, typical mistake uh, the club tennis player make is that he thinks it's just the arm. Yeah? They just come in, they throw just with the arm. There's no control, and then they try to hit it. No, you want to always think when you're practicing this. When I broke it down, you're practicing, of course, you're focusing on arm, yeah. But then you want to put everything together so it goes with the whole body so i'm starting here it's very good to have kind of reference point here so as you see all the pros always they kind of touch the racket here i usually do this that with my this finger i just kind of hold the racket here actually just before i start serving i kind of just touch a little bit some players are like this some players like this it depends but for us it's good to have this reference point this is the starting moment yeah so now i'm balanced and then really the arm goes in a, in, a, in a synchronization with the whole body, it goes together, hand in hand, yeah? So check this again, so it's really about 
bringing the, the arm up yeah i always say it's not throwing it's bringing the ball up like lifting the ball up yeah imagine it was like a platform like a lift and you're just lifting it up and of course it has to be done with the whole body again yeah so it's at the end this and one more and you can see i'm gonna be hitting on top of that mud of course that one yeah so you can see this perfectly synchronized with my wall body yeah? so it's not so trying try to avoid this yeah? there is no synchronization again that's again arm and then the body no, it goes together yeah so you go everything together ideally balance back then you reach that left knee yeah? and then from the left knee you go up so we're serving just like roger something like this yeah but it's important to realize that we're not bending the wrist we're not bending the elbows there yeah we go straight up we let the ball go very last moment when i can't go any further and we're holding the ball your fingers not in your palm if i'm gonna have a ball like this i cannot control it yeah i could eventually but it's just not comfortable you want to have a ball at the end of your fingers yeah That one felt good. So, we're talking mostly today about the ball toss for the first serve. Start practicing like this, yeah? Again, I had one of the guys the other day, he was commenting, oh Jan, finally started to work for me, fantastic, yeah? Prior to that, I was just telling him repetition, 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 do repetitions. Once you find that ball toss that works for you, you stick with it and you keep repeating, repeating. Because this arm just has to learn it, yeah? This is also like, for most of us, if you right hander just like me, the left arm is kind of not as, yeah, doesn't have that feeling as much as the right one. So again, at the end of the day, it's just about practicing. It's about doing repetitions. It's about training. The repetition is crucial. You really want to work on it, yeah? As much as you will work on it, it's going to improve. Again, it's not so hard, the bolters, but we have to really practice. We have to work on it. We have to train the right way. Once you find it, yeah, keep it simple again, just like a pros. Watch how pros throwing it. You're gonna develop a perfect feel for the ball. You're gonna be able to place the ball anywhere. If you can place the ball in front and it's gonna bounce 90% of the times on that mat or on the racket in front of your left foot, yeah, that area, and you can place it anywhere. Once you can place it there and you can place it behind you slightly for the serve, second serve for the kick or slightly to the right for the slice, yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. Once you're gonna have that feel, remember, it's the wall arm and it's the wall arm in synchronization with the wall body, yeah. So it's not just, it's not disconnected, it goes together, yeah? You want to really have this feeling. All the way up and let it go, yeah? Don't move your wrist, don't move your elbow, keep it simple. Let it go very last moment and holding the ball in your fingers. If you like this session, comment below. If it did work for you, if it didn't work for you, or if it hasn't worked for you yet, but you're working on it, I want to know. Guys, really, this is community. I want to know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. So then I can give you another tip, another session, what works for me. And if you can learn from me, fantastic. I'm going to be super happy and super excited because this is my passion. What I've learned, I'm here to teach you because I really want to see better tennis on those courts when I enter the tennis club next time again. So also feel free to subscribe below, hit that notification button. If you want more, visit my site, jamentennis.net, where is plenty of tennis training exercises, fitness exercises and everything. And I want to see your results. So start training, take action, start working on the ball toss because the ball toss is about 70% of your serve. If you're gonna have a good ball toss, nice ball toss, you're gonna have a great serve. If you're gonna have a bad ball toss, if it's not gonna be there, you're gonna struggle. I know this, I've seen this, we know all this. The ball toss is one of the crucial moments, crucial parts, crucial factors on your serve. So let's take action. And I want to see your surf at a different level. Okay, I'll see you soon in the next session for more. And let's transform your tennis game right now.